Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the channel in another video. Today we're going to be doing an open cup with this is the iridescent white from Amsterdam Specialties, Thalo Blue, Cerulean Blue. We have some Onyx Black, and then just a tiny amount of Titanium White, and that will come into play here in a minute. We're going to be doing an open cup. All the paints are mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint. So this white, I'm just going to take and make a small puddle on the base. Just use that little tiny bit of white we have. And then, I've never tried this before, so I'm going to bury it in black. Now there is oil, the OGX Coconut Milk Hair Serum in these paints with the exception of the white and with that let's go because i'm really curious to see if it creates some really cool blending of the the white against the black so a little bit of phthalo blue in there and since that is a dark the cerulean is plenty to offer contrast and then some of this really cool iridescent white I don't remember the name of the paint off the top of my head, but if somebody else does, just let me know in the comments. I mixed it up yesterday, and I just don't remember the name of it. Now that could have been a mistake on my part, putting that black and thalo blue on top of each other, because it's not going to create too much contrast there. Those colors do mix fine together. There's nothing wrong with them. Just. Ooh. And now we'll just top it off with a tiny bit of black. And then release the paint. That's crazy how much white is covering that surface. But hopefully that'll give us some really interesting cell effects. How's everybody doing this glorious day? <laughs> I hope you guys are doing amazing. So, it was actually in the 30s in Phoenix today. It was actually warmer in Detroit. Which I don't understand how that's even possible, but I guess it is. Alright. Let's let some of this set this, some of this paint free here. That's cool looking right there. I like that. It's very ocean. And I'm really excited to see what this pearl white does. I think that's what it's called, pearl white from Amsterdam. And I normally also don't really use black a whole lot. And there's a lot more black in this than there is in my normal paintings. Ooh, that is creating some really cool stuff. Let's add some pearl white to it again. Kind of a larger band of pearl white, maybe. And let's go to the phthalo blue. A larger band, cerulean blue. Another large band, and then just black on top, just a tiny bit. Because it will take over if I let it. And I'm not going to try to purposefully mess this one up. All right. Decent layer of white. I think we're almost, we're probably done using the black. Oh man, the drip, 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 drip. Luckily it blends in, eh? And finish it off. Just a tiny bit of that white right there. Let me release. And pop that surface tension there on that cookie cutter. And now I'm just going to gently swipe just over the surface. Create some interesting looking 
composition in the center. Now before I spin it, I am gonna warm this thing up. Grab my little heat gun. Yeah, that pop between the black and the cerulean blue is really cool. Now we're just warming things up, exposing some of those lighter colors that I know are buried underneath. See that cell towards the, right here. Almost looks like it's boiling up out of the, the bottom, which that's cool. Let me kiss this lightly with some torch. And create what we can before we stretch. I love this pouring medium. It always creates some really cool stuff. All right, and now we got that super dark color. Hmm. Yeah, I really like the center. You can see the reflections coming off that. So cool. All right, so let's spin it out. Right now I'm looking at it, and I want that to stay in the middle. So it should be fairly well centered. Ooh. That is really nice. It has such a deep kind of darkness to it. Wow. Let me take this heat gun to it one last time. See if we can generate any additional cells. That pearl white is doing some crazy looking stuff. It's really cool looking. Let me bring you guys down and check this thing out. It's so cool. That pearl white is amazing. We only used white at the base. So everywhere it looks white, it's actually really metallic and shiny. I think that is the cell that I was talking about that almost looked like it was boiling. So cool. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.